Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you regarding the deployment of OSMC that is known as Open Source Media Center which is regarded as built for the people and by the people on Raspberry Pi 2. Before we proceed with OSMC, let me tell you that in the previous video, you have must uh, seen about my uh, deployment of Open Alec, which is again called a Media Center version for media streaming all types of videos, pictures on Raspberry Pi 2. So similarly, we are having OSMC with Kodi. Okay, so before we proceed with how to download and how to install it on the SD card and then we see the live demonstration on the Raspberry Pi, let us first of all know what is meant by OSMC regarding some introduction and some features. So if you talk of OSMC as we already know the full form that is called Open Source Media Center, it is regarded as an embedded minimal self-updating Linux distribution with chips with a Kodi frontend for a variety of devices. And the project was funded by Sam Nazarko in 2014 and is maintained by a group of volunteers who do this as a part-time or as a hobby work. And if you talk of the features, it is regarded as the very easy to use and simple operating system and is based on Debian operating system, which means that as compared to Debian Linux, it is again having 30,000 packages available to be installed from the repositories. It is very quick to install and it is giving you a very good home theater PC experience. And believe me everyone, when I have demonstrated, when I'm going to demonstrate you, I will be demonstrating and I will showing you some movie which will be playing and believe me, it is having an awesome experience like I'm having, you can say, a ready-made pen drive inserted to my LED television. It is self-updating and which means that each it is becoming better each month. So it is a very dynamic operating system and day by day it is getting more dynamic, it is getting more advanced and more most important of it that it is becoming more application rich. So this is the main website that is called osmc.tv and if you scroll down you can find a, a video over here in which you can be demonstrated about what is the main interface which I will be showing you in the later half of this video and what you will like is that, that it is simple to use, free and open source, meet your app store and it plays almost anything which means that from any format it can stream any music, any movie, any TV show, any picture, you can you name it, they have it. So you can see that there is a Vero 2, it is basically known as a flagship device and you can just click over here to learn about more. So I will not be clicking over here, so it is just a basic and if you can see over the box, you can find that there are two 3.5 mm jacks, it is having a HDMI port, it is having a Ethernet port, so it is like a media center edition. So if you click on this link that is called about which I have already opened so you can find that uh, all things uh, are being uh, you can say demonstrated on this web page so what is behind it what are its key features and what is it all about so it is based on the Kodi project again so if you want to download and if you, if you click, click on over this blog you can find that January update has come and it is uh, had the latest update that is known as 16.0 and it was last updated that is 29th of January 2016 and we will be using the latest update into our Raspberry Pi. So just click on this link that is called download and now if you can scroll down you can find you can uh, find the disk image over here so I've already downloaded the disk image you can just uh, I will just show you over here so I click on my downloads so you can find that there is an image that is this file that is if you click on this properties I have already downloaded about 153 MB which you can download from that link which I have already shown you so I have uh, if you double click on this you can find there is an image which uh, almost every Raspberry Pi operating system has so there is no nothing new in that so I've already extracted this image on my desktop and again we will be using the same two softwares that is SD formatter and Win32 disk manager so let us start with the part B in which we will be you can say uh, inserting the SD card into our computer and uh, we will be formatting it and then we will be putting the image of OSMC which we have downloaded from the official website into Raspberry Pi and then we will be putting the SD card into Raspberry Pi. So let us insert the memory card. So let us uh, format first of all that is SD formatter. Click on yes and now just uh, you can say click on option and click on on so click OK. So click on format and click OK. OK again. So now just click exit and now let us go to this Win32 Disk Manager so you can say that almost the same steps which we are following, almost the same so you can say it is the same steps itself. So just click on this button 
and go to desktop which I have uh, downloaded the image that is OSMC so click on open and it is very easy to use so it will not take much time to be written so let's click on write and click yes so you can see that how fast it is so we will not uh, you can say spend so much of time to just uh, download and install on SD card it will just take about 30 seconds so you now you can see on the screen that how much fast it is and when you will insert it will be installing so after that it will be giving you the interface on Raspberry Pi so now you can see that I have uh, written the image successfully on SD card so let us click OK and now let us plug out the SD card and go to Raspberry Pi and let and let's see the live interface of OSMC what powerful it is and what is the version Kodi 16 have for all of us thank you so now researchers as you can find that I'm having this Raspberry Pi and I have connected my Wi-Fi dongle my mouse and my keyboard and HDMI cable which is connected to my television and have uh, uh, connected my power socket and here is the SD card on which I have already installed OSMC that is known as open source media center and now you can find that open Alec which I have already demonstrated you in the last video and OSMC is known as a very close competitor which is also having the Kodi version and uh, it is again a competitor for open Alec so again we will be playing some video using my pen drive so here is my pen drive which is a Kingston pen drive and uh, I'm having one video over here so you can find a total you can say some difference on the interface etc as compared to open elec and again I can say that OSMC is regarded as the most dynamic media center as compared to open elec because uh, it is regularly updating it is more dynamic etc etc so let us uh, go and insert this SD card onto my Raspberry Pi which is already been uh, installed with OSMC so let us fire the installation part so it will start with the installation part and then it will be coming with the front end interface so you can see the resolution 1920 into 1080p at 60 hertz which is the best HD resolution for playing with Raspberry Pi so you can find that it is formatting the device first of all OSMC this is the logo that is open source media center and it is formatting the device so which means that 50% of the work has been done on using SD card formatter and Win32 disk manager and rest of the word uh, work which means that it will be done live on Raspberry Pi uh, by OSMC so now you can see that it is installing the files so it will take about a minute or two for installation of files but it will be very fast so you can find that how much clean and green interface of OSMC is there very good interface and if you ask me that if I want to make this Raspberry Pi a media center uh, device what I will choose whether I will choose an open Alec or whether I will choose OSMC I will definitely recommend that I should be choosing OSMC why did you am choosing OSMC because why Yoki, it is uh, because it is having much interface good as compared to open Alec it is uh, you can say can be you can say uh, can be controlled by your keyboard by a mouse and by your remote also you can say but uh, open Alec was only controlled by your TV remote and secondly it is having a very dynamic uh, you can say team which is regularly working on improvising its interface so let us wait for some more time on which it installs the files and after that it will be rebooting the Raspberry Pi now you can find that it is installing and yellow light is uh, constantly on as compared to power signal which is red which is a red light so you can find that it is blinking and it is copying the files it is speedy it is good so definitely give it a shot and you can connect it onto a box and you can connect it uh, you can put it this uh, besides your television and uh, you can just use the remote to give the source from over here and just insert your pen drive which is having movies over there and you can sit back relax enjoy and enjoy your movies so if your uh, you can say your uh, any your monitor doesn't have a USB port you can just enable that uh, monitor with this USB port as a media center edition and almost you can find that 99.9% .9 of all the formats of movies can be played by this OSMC
so it is taking some time so it is installing the files just we have to be somewhat bit more patient for that so almost we can see it is about 80 percent we just have to wait for the next 20 percent of this white block to finish and then we will be seeing the interface and we will be connecting this pen drive over here in this port and we will be playing one movie So 90% is there, 95%, so almost we are done. So Raspberry Pi I can say it is the best portable computer which can uh, do almost all of your tasks from robotic control to media center from basic operating system to a telnet server to a web server <coughs> and in the coming videos I will be making this as a telnet server as a media server as a you can say IP camera server so everything what you want to do so you can find that OSMC has been installed successfully and now let us wait for Raspberry Pi to reboot and then it will be showing us the clean interface of OSMC So now the system has rebooted, as you can see, and now you can find a very clean, you can say some uh, DOS based uh, booting of this OSMC. Yes. So now you can find the final interface on my television screen of Samsung of OSMC. So I will be taking again my remote and I will be connecting your, uh, this pen drive in just a minute so it will be again rebooting so this is basically known as the final interface of OSMC in which you can find movies videos pictures my OSMC favorites programs settings power everything so it is making the skills and shortcuts so let us first of all what we do we just uh, go and set up with this it is showing the welcome screen so let me go and uh, set up my country I am living in India so let me take as a English as a default language so I confirm it as yes I am controlling with this my remote so time zone is Asia and uh, regarding the city I can take Delhi so for the host name it is OSMC I just have to accept it so SSS is as enabled so let me accept it so it's a license so let me continue and I will set up my networking later so you can find that this is now the TV shows which you can which you can find so no thanks and exit so now as we have done the basic setting of OSMC now let me do we just connect this uh, pen drive onto this vacant USB port and let us wait for the pen drive to get mounted now you can see that mounted removable hard drive so you can even uh, uh, connect your hard drive you can even stream uh, this video on any of your devices portable devices so let us go to videos and let us go to this files so press ok now you can find the files press ok so you can find the pen drive so click ok and now you can find this movie so again Minion 720p blu-ray I'm using the full H you can even play the full HD movie because right now I'm having 720p with me but it is fully playable with 1080p also so let us click over here now you can see that movie has started so again a very good interface regarding fast forward you can fast forward it you can even play it so let me put the volume down so let us see the clarity so minions are there so you can see that it is also enabled with fast forward also so a good clarity of movies on OSMC 
so let us stop it and now let us uh, you can find uh, it is showing us all the details it is 720p with 2.40 5.1 channel sound and h.264 so it is capable for everything so let us exit it so keep on exiting so in this video i have demonstrated you how to make osmc as the live meter center edition it is very good as compared to open elec so if you want to shut down you can just go to this power and just press ok and go to this power of the system so press ok so now you can see that it has powered off and it is unmounting everything so with this i have ended this video in which i have demonstrated you how to download you can say uh, osmc how to install it on the memory card and how to boot your raspberry pi and uh, follow a movie on the live television feed thank you so much